Welcome to technical drawing. Today we'll do the sum in isometric. Front view and side view is given. If you see inside view, we have two part, part one and two. And in front view, we have one, two, three, three part. So we'll start with side view. We'll draw this L shape. We'll assume that see there are two parts. So part one is nearer to you in side view and part two is inclined. So what I will do, first I'll assume that entire part 1 and 2 is one unit. And I will draw this L shape and whatever is there in the left side, the same thing is on the right. So I will take everything behind by 60. If you don't want to mark 60, you can mark this way also. This is how you will get L shape. After that, we'll draw this circle. That we'll draw it by 4 center method. We'll draw a vertical line from center we'll take 10 10 and from here also we'll go up by 10 we'll go down by 10 and we'll draw a parallel line then you draw longest diagonal Let's say this point is 1, this is 2, then I'll join 1 to M, opposite midpoint, this is 3 and 4. I'll draw a curve from 1 to M to that midpoint and we'll draw a curve. Same way, 2 to that point, midpoint. We'll draw a curve. After that, we have to take this line behind. How much we have to take this behind? 15. And we'll join this line. Now we have a circle in the front. The same circle will be behind. So what I need to do, I need to take this point 1 behind by 15. This is 1 dash. So take 1. Take this radius. You go behind by 15 and you draw R. This will be dark. This will be dark. You take this behind, you take this behind, and then here you mark 32 plus 20, that is 52. This will be dark, this is how it will come. Again, this will be dark. So we are done with the front portion. I'll mark this point over here. 
now we need to draw that angle 60 degree now remember one thing we can't draw directly inclined in isometric so we need to draw it out outside in the sense we need to project linear distance what i will do i will take height 20 length 60 so i will draw again whatever is given in front view i will draw it again that slope part i'll take 60 degree from here same way i'll take 60 from here So we'll get X on both the side. See this is X, this is also X. Take this distance and you cut from here. Same way, take this distance and you cut from here. And now you join. See this, this is X x so what we have done we have converted inclined distance into linear distance x and then we are going ahead after that this line is dark then you take this behind this one This will be dark in this way. Now we need to draw only circle. So for that we need to find center point for that circle. So it will be midpoint. See this is 60, so midpoint is 30. From there we have done a from there we have done a line and we'll come down by 20. This is the center point. Let's say O. Now what I need to do? The diameter is 20 so I need to draw rhombus of side 20 so I'll take 10 up 10 down and again 10 on left side and 10 on right side so this way I will draw rhombus and again I'll continue four center method to draw a circle in isometric I feel my dimensions are not accurate so I'm just checking it once again I need to shift one one millimeter I will draw longest diagonal again I'll mark 1 2 3 4 see this is midpoint to the opposite corner this is 1 2 3 and 4 and M the opposite side midpoint I will write M so I will take 1 to M and I will draw arc same way I will take 2 to M and I will draw arc then I will take 3 to M and 4 to M So this way we are done with the circle. Now if I want to check whether I can see the behind portion of the circle or no. So I will take width. How much is the width? 20. So I will take 20 behind. This will be 0 0.2 dash. Now I will take radius 2 to M. And I will check. See it is not coming. We can't see. So we won't be showing the depth of the circle. So I hope all of you understood this sum. Thank you.